Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the JavaScript and the PHP. Today we are going to learn about how to send the Firebase push notifications or you can say that how to send the Firebase cloud messaging as a push notification using the JavaScript and the PHP. We are going to learn in this video. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically here you can see that I have got the token, right? When I try to send the notifications from my terminal via php here you can see send and here you can see that background message title background message the notification will come over here okay so how we have achieved that one we are going to learn in this video let's get started first of all you need the firebase account so if i go to the firebase console okay let's go with the firebase console Let's switch the account of my this. I'm using this my account. I have already created. So make sure you have created that account. Go to the project settings. Okay, so cloud messaging. Okay, you can see that cloud messaging API is disabled. So I'm using that one. So here we have we require the rapid key web push certificate. So make sure you have to generate this one rapid key. If it is not, then generate a new one. Here you can go with the create a new pair. Okay. Here you can create the new one. Okay. Now we have to go with the service account. Make sure you have to create a new service account. So here we go with the service account. So make sure generate a new private key and it will give you the file. So that file you have to place into your uh, JavaScript folder not JavaScript, it should be in the PHP because we have to generate the assist token via this one. So make sure you have to add this file. So this is my file, which I have added over here. Okay. So this is that one. Okay. And uh, one more thing that is in the journal, this we required where it is web, my push notifications web, we require this details. Okay. This one. So we, sh we have to use that one. So let's dive into the code level. So this is our PHP. First of all, you have to install the package that is Google. I have installed that package. Make sure you have to install that one. That is sudo composer require Google auth. Make sure you have to install this package. So it will help you to generate the assess token. Okay. If I do go to the code here, you can see that I'm able to get the assess token, right? So this is the code that I'm getting this as token. So make sure you have to import this one service account credentials, HTTP handler. Make sure you have to add the credentials and add the file. So this is your file and the credentials will help you to fetch the auth token. So it will give you the access token. And this is our API of the FCM. That is the new one. This is your project ID. Make sure you have to add the project ID and this is the URL. Then in the authorization, you need to pass the access token. After passing this, this is our request for the message, token, notification, image, body title, then web push, web push notification. This is optional. Okay. And after this, the curl request, we get the response. And if something goes wrong, it will go over here. Otherwise, echo the response. And here we are in the script. We have logged the access token. Okay. This, this will help you to get the access token and help you to send the firebase push notification so this token automatically every time it will generate i think it is same all the time let's have a look whenever i have the key you can see so y up to x2 this is the same token right i have generated this one i'm getting the error y2 this one this is again the x2 okay and again this is the different one now the token is changed okay so it automatically changed your token okay so we don't need to care about the anything and uh, there is a one more thing like uh, somebody uh, like asking me that how much the expiration token we have or something like this so you have to check like uh, you can set the expiration token you need to add the google you need to check with the google search or might be if you need that one i will also upload that one okay otherwise it will automatically generate the token and it will send the firebase push notifications automatically so don't need to take care about the uh is this token right see because we have already added if there is if if there is no much of the project complications okay so here you can see we have automatically generated the token and sending that one and um, 
but this thing automatically should be dynamic because browser token is different and what token is different ios token is different so in that case you have to handle that logic okay so this is basically the php section where you can get the ss token and send the firebase push notification for the javascript code you, if you need that one how to generate the token so do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day